Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest Monsters Caravan Heart. In the last episode, we made it through the. Well, we're in the, on the road to Rhone as we are continuing our journey to find the final illusion. Anyways, what you want to do is take a, a right here and head up over here. And then head this way. Now, I'm pretty sure there's. Yep, dead end. Okay, this way. I don't think there's any treasures. I could be wrong. I could be dead wrong. Anyways, let's keep going. We're almost out. We're almost out now. Okay, it's this way. And we are out of there. And look at where we're at. We're in the Rome. We're literally in Rome. In the snowy ice field that is atop the world. And yes, there are some very dangerous monsters up here. Like this priest. I don't believe in God, and I'm not going to give you any of my gold. And get the, uh, the thief saw through this cleric's illusions, and he's a false cleric. How do you interfere with my business? I'll remember this. And then he ran away cursing. Look at that. So those clerics, all they are are thieves. And we have a new enemy in Archdemon. I kind of wish they made him a little bigger because it looks like he's like a tiny guy. But Archdemons are actually pretty big. They're pretty big monsters. And if you can get one of their hearts, you'll be... Well, I don't know what the hell you'll be, but you'll you'll enjoy it. I'll trust trust me on that. Look at that, we made it to the last refuge. In the most shun of the continents. Maybe I oh look at that. He's gonna sell us things. Very nice. Oh, 200 rations. Holy moly. Steaks are worth it. Anyways, we can get call wings, world leaf, and World do, which is really, really, really nice. Thank you. If we talk to this guy, I believe he saves our game. Why the hell not? I haven't made it hard to save in a while. Now, if we go in that warp zone there, or the Traveler's Gate, we will, um... We will head back down, but I do not want to head down. Now, what we could do here is use a call uh, wing and set up our base here, but I'm not. That's the way I roll, I guess. Oh, we got ourselves a new enemy, a Blizzard Bleed. These guys can cast, um, let's say, ice spells, as, as they say. And we destroyed them. We have utterly destroyed them. So we need to go up or down, I think. So we want to head... No, nope, I guess we got to go up. Because we want to head to... Look at these guys, they're snowmen! Holy crap! And Machu got out of the wagon and stared at the snowman. And they were actually snows. Oh, look at that, we get a snow heart. Which is like a snowman gnome something or other. Oh, sweet! Now I can morph uh, Salon into a, uh, into something cool, more slime-like. Oh, we got a new enemy, Gigantes. As you as you know, some of the most powerful monsters are in the road to Rhone. Or in Rhone. Just like in Dragon Quest 2. And let's continue. Through the force. Here we go, here we got some new enemies. Big Monjama and uh, Gotian, which actually I turned Carol into a while ago. Obviously, you didn't see it, but I did it. And we get her X Strike. I cut you because I am Alex. Arg. I don't know why I'm a pirate. Get some rations. I just hope Hargon's not around, that's all I'm saying. And look at this, there's a shrine. 
What the hell is this shrine? There's four statues. These pedestals have a strange aura. So actually, huh. I'm wondering. I wonder if I'm gonna need to get another timeout. Um. Put my. My, uh, camp here. Well, not the. Oh, we got more snowmen. And you'll give us the heart for the snowman. Nice. Alright, let's keep going. Ooh! Hogarn's castle's back up and running, huh? Let's take it down. Alright. And here we are in Hargon's castle. Or Doomdee's castle now, I guess. I guess they rebuilt it from the ground up, and here we have some new enemies. Sword Gons and Demon Monks. And these Sword Gon guys look pretty cool. They're like sword dragons. There you go, Salen. Beat their face in! You little slime bastard. Alright, now if you can remember the... The, uh... The Order of Hargon's Castle, we'll know just to go straight up. And I kind of like how this... Yeah, there's no treasure over there. I kind of like how this place is situated. Just like Hargon's Castle. Except without the Poison Marsh. And it's freezing cold. Now, if you remember correctly, we just have to go up up the tower because because if you remember correctly, Hargon's tower or castle was just two. It's just like a regular castle with two towers on the side or on the top. All right, just fought some arch demons, and if we look at our map, you can see that we're going the correct way. There are no treasures on Hargon's tower. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I don't care if, if if it is called Doomdee's Castle. It's Hargon's. And at least Hargon paid the heating bill. He didn't let the whole place go to frost here. Jeez. Alright, and they even got the old Hargon symbol, those demon monks. So that's kind of cool. And here we come against our first... Our first of three... Um, what the hell is this? Test or trials? Just like in Dragon Quest. Oh, what the hell did I do speed up for? Oh, whatever. Just like Dragon Quest uh, 2, we have to fight fight uh, our three three dudes, whatever. This one is Guy Guy Atlas. And he will attack once, and sometimes he'll hit you for a lot. Double slash bitch. I should put her in somewhere else. So she doesn't get the full attack. Because she's doing the Salon's thing. Alright, now for Carol to hit him. Look at that damage. Save power and then hit is awesome. The old Barongo defense. Oh, the old Barongo offense. You save power and then you hit him. Or actually, even even Hassan from Dragon Quest VI used to do that. Hassan was the man. Yeah, we beat Gaiga Atlas. And Carol went up a level. Uh, I love attack plus seven every time I level up. Bye bye, Gaga Atlas. Toodaloo. Alright, so this area we have to head to the left. 
the end up here, where the next one will be. This should be Pazuzu. Or Pazuzu. Silver Pazuzu. So, let's try this thermostat. Let's do a lightning cut. And let's do save power. Uh-oh. Chilly breath. Oh, thermostat. Interesting. That's what thermostat does. It protects you from breath attacks. I like it. Alright, Carol. So let's do boom. Let's do Thordian and let's have you attack. A better spell, not, but still need to get better. Thordian! Boom, look at that damage. And this shouldn't hurt as much, and it doesn't. Because of the thermostat thing. Now, Salon, heal us, Thordian, and save power once again. Yeah, I remember in uh, Dragon Quest 2, Pazuzu could do an instant death attack on you, which was a load of force crap. And he was a real pain in the ass. But he didn't have nearly as much HP as this guy does. Oh, uh, yeah, Thermostat, Thordian, you did save power, so let's hit him. Come on, Carol, hit him. Come on, Carol. ba -dam! Yeah, that's how you do it. Save power and then attack next turn is very nice. Goodbye, Pazuzu. And now the last guy should be Zarlox. Mr. Zarlox. Where are you? Yes. Awesome, we got ourselves a demon monk heart from fighting that last demon monk. Ooh, heal Inferno curse. Interesting. Yes, very nice. Very, very, very nice. But here's Zarlox. <laughs> Ark Belial, as they call him. But he is a Zarlox, I don't care. I don't care what you people have to say. Yeah, use that lightning on their A. I love it. Thermostat, I like it. Now, in case he does any breath attacks, let's do it. No, nah, we don't need to heal. Sound fight. Oh, actually. Oh, uh, no, yeah. Let's see if you can take away some of that defense power. Carol. Bam! 400 damage. Oh yeah, lowered by 140. Thorian! Alright, heal all yourself. Attack, save power. See, now we're starting to get a little more strategy. I think that only healed his, H his MP by 7, which is better than nothing. Booyah! Sap again, attack, and attack. Let's see how much damage Carol will do this time. Well, bam! And that's how it works. And Salon has gone up another level. I like it. And Carol has gone up another level. I also like that. Anyways, what could be on the top of this tower, this castle? Will we find the fourth illusion, and what will they give us? 
And then where can we find um, Marigumi or whatever her name was from the very beginning? This has been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.